Hey guys, Namaste and welcome to our YouTube channel, Twitter Pratik. As we completed our all the form elements in HTML5, so today we are going to learn to create a simple but sweet registration form by using just HTML. To create this simple and sweet registration form, we are going to use HTML5 and its new element features like date, email address, web URLs, etc. We are not going to use any CSS style sets. We just use the HTML5 codings to develop this simple but sweet registration form. So to learn how to develop a professional look HTML registration form by using only HTML, please keep watching our video till end. And before we start, if you haven't still subscribed our YouTube channel, please do subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell button that you can be notified whenever we publish our new session videos. Now let's start today's session. Let's start coding for our HTML registration form. To make our registration form organized, we will use a table for organized layout. And on our first TV, we will use cold span 2 to merge the two cells of our row. And inside our this first TV, we will add our website logo. In next TR, on first TD, we will add our banner. On next TD, we will insert our input types for our form. To make our form align to the center, we will add a align to our table tag center and same for our first tier to align our logo we will add a center align attribute up to now we have our website logo at the center of our web page and the banner on next row of our table now we have to add our form elements on this right side of this banner for this on the second TD, we will again create another table and on our first row, we will give a title sign up. After on next TR, in first cell, we will give a label username. As username is a compulsory field, so we will use a asterisk sign. Let's add four attribute for our level and give a ID my user. Now in next TD, we will going to add the input type text and ID my user. And also we are giving the name my user and this is the compulsory field that's why we are going to use required true and again let's give a placeholder username in this way we will add more input types for this I am just going to copy this TR and just paste it and just make the changes what we require for now I am going to add one password field that's why I'm going to change my PWD for the label name password 
and password is also a compulsory field that's why we require this asterisk symbol and in the input type field we will use password id my pwd name my pwd similarly let's add more input types email address input type is email id my email name my email email address is also compulsory so we need this required and in placeholder we will change it valid email address now let's create for date of birth my gov date of birth in input type we will use date id my dov name my dov and on this date attribute we doesn't require this placeholder so i'm just going to delete this placeholder now on next we are going to add a gender gender and in this input type we will use a radio gender as id and again gender as name and we need a value for this radio button mail it's going to delete this placeholders and after then a text mail similarly let's add another two options email order okay after then let's add another field for getting the URL my URL website and we are going to make this website as optional so i just deleted the asterisk from the label and for url we will use a type url and id my url name my url and this is not a required compulsory file so i'm just going to delete this required attribute and finally we need one submit button to submit our form for this just add one another row and inside one TD just make the cold span 2 and inside this TD we will use input type equal to submit and under value registration And we can give the name sign up that's it now save it and let's check it in our browser great almost we done our registration form but we can make some changes that it looks better like we can make this sign up text little bit bigger for this we are going to use heading tab on the sign up we will add that's two now it looks little bit better than before now we can make the background of our web page little bit darker that our form will highlight it and also we can add some spaces between two cells that it looks little bit better so let's make some changes in our code first of all to change the background color of our web page 
in our body tag we will add a bg color and just keep a gray color of hex code c c c c c c on the second td where we have the form elements we will add a bg color for giving a white color we have a hex code has f f f f f f after then to make our form wider we will add width for our table on our first table we will give a width of 70 percent that makes our registration form area is 70 percent of the screen size and then on our two cells of this first table we will give the first td which contains this banner image we will give a weight 30 percent and for the second td which contains our whole form elements we will give a weight 70 percent now save it and let's check how our form looks now now we can see that our main table is now 70 percent of our screen size after then now we have to make some spaces between these form elements for this we will give the width for the second table to 80 percent and let's make this second table aligned to center now we can see that almost our form is ready another thing we can do in this form is we can make this text bold for making this text bold we can use either a bold tag using a b tag in between these levels or you can just change this td to th if you are changing this td to th this makes our text also center aligned so if you are using the th tag apply another attribute align left for each ts cells for now i am just going to add b tag on each level and on our submit button cell i am just going to align to the center by using align tag in that cell center and let's change this value to sign up now we just add a br tag and save it for this thing the responsibility of our web page i'm just going to zoom in and out oops we can see that our two cells are departed from each other so to fix this error in our code let's add a align to our banner image align to right this makes our image banner always attached with our form cell now let's check it now we can see that our two cells are attached whatever we zoom down or zoom in so finally our web page is ready to publish in this way by using the only html codes we can create some simple and sweet html registration forms that's all for today we will come back soon with new interesting videos until then take care and goodbye